Next week will be the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's 10-year wedding anniversary, a joyful milestone for the couple. However, before their fairy tale wedding a decade ago, they were actually dating for nearly 10 years before that. They first met at St. Andrews University in 2001, when they shared the same halls of residence. After being friends for around a year, they started dating and enjoyed a short period of privacy while they were still in full-time education, as there was a moratorium of press coverage of the prince at the time. After they graduated, William joined the military and Kate moved to London, but they continued seeing each other. There was intense speculation that the couple would get engaged as far back as 2006, which put pressure on William and actually caused the pair to temporarily break up for several months in 2007. Amid the media frenzy, Kate reportedly gave William an ultimatum on committing to her and instead he called things off. Eventually, they reunited, but William still did not propose for another three years. By the time he finally did, it was quite a relief to both families and several of them made comments that it had taken a while to get to this point, according to OK! Magazine. The Queen told a guest at Windsor Castle, it is brilliant news. It had taken them a long time. Meanwhile, William's father Prince Charles joked, I'm thrilled. They have been practicing long enough. It makes me feel very old. William's stepmother Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall quipped, I'm just so happy and so are they. It's brilliant. It's wicked. William called his brother Prince Harry to tell him the happy news, and Harry said afterwards, I am delighted my brother has popped the question. It means I get a sister, which I've always wanted. Kate's parents Michael and Carol Middleton kept it simple, the father of the bride saying, they make a lovely couple. They are great fun to be with and we've had a lot of laughs together. Buckingham Palace said in a statement that the Queen was absolutely delighted by the news. When William had finally decided he was going to propose to Kate, he wanted to use his mother Princess Diana's beautiful sapphire engagement ring. After she had died, he and Harry had been each allowed to choose something of hers to keep, he had taken her watch and Harry the ring. William asked his brother if they could swap so he could use the ring to propose to Kate and Harry agreed. In their engagement interview, William revealed he had nervously hidden the ring in his rucksack as he and Kate set off on a holiday in Kenya. Towards the end of the trip, they flew by helicopter to Rotundu Lake high on the slopes on Mount Kenya and he got down on one knee in a little wooden hut. Kate recalled, it was very romantic. There's a true romantic in there. The couple kept their engagement a secret for around a month, due to the death of Kate's grandfather, but it was finally announced to the world on November 16, 2010. They got married just five and a half months later on April 29, 2011 at a lavish ceremony in Westminster Abbey. Prince Edward also faced intense speculation about whether he would propose to Sophie Rees Jones, now the Countess of Wessex, in the 90s and insisted that the pressure made him less likely to do so. He told the press, if you shut up, mind your own business and let me do it when I want, it's much more likely to happen. The more people second guess, the less likely it is. I just won't do it.